burst out of bank. Down the stairs. Down the stairs? Yeah, down the stairs. Nearly made it in all. <laughs> yeah, I know that story. Fractured a fuel pipe. Didn't go 200 yards down the old can road. <laughs> Run out of gas. Gets out next year. Skill like that, we can do without. Stan Newton's a good driver. Presley? Bottles out if it gets too loud. Loud? Bang, bang, bang. Anytime you like, Debbie. I said. Mm, I heard you. Okay, let's do it. You was in the French Foreign Legion, Jack. Douzième Régiment Étranger Parachutiste, to you, spoke. <laughs> yeah. I bet you had some good times, eh? Who's this, Press? Name of Clyde. Journalist for the London Evening Mail. Hello, Jack. Who's the chick? Debbie Smith. She's writing a book about famous heists. Hello. There. Heist? Are you a copper friend? Mr. Clyde is an ace crime reporter. Gets all the best stories. Well, there ain't no sensation here today, pal. squad in there. She claims she's a writer, freelance. Uh, Tom Klein backs her up in the uh, London Evening Mail back. Does she know you're onto her? No. Nope. Who's dead? One William James Dundas. No. Evil Bill, the hatchet man. Uh, no tears for him. And uh, Harry DeSoto. None of your penny anti-villains. Oh, plus we got five in custody. One of the hit squad and four intended victims. Who shot Dundas? DeSoto. Who took out DeSoto? Your girl. She was told not to carry him. And to use one of their pieces. This is all very violent, Patrick. What's happening? I was hoping that you would tell me. OK, here's the form. Clyde, the crime reporter, heard a rumor that someone called Morocco Jack had suddenly appeared on the scene. He took my DS makepiece along, undercover as a freelance writer. Very cooperative. I think he wanted protection. A man of perception. I'm no wiser. That's the point, Pat. I'm no wiser than you are. You're taking this over, Gordon? No. It's a murder investigation. 
Tell you what, though. You'd like access. All my notes, prisoners. That's it. I got a tip off from the top floor. Saying what? I should watch my back. If you were me. You got it. Name. What's your name, Turkey? Something funny? You new to this guy? Oh, yeah, I'm a rookie, can't you tell? All right, wise guy. Have a jewelry. Your name's Haig, Edward G, alias Miller, alias Maxwell. You've got three convictions for robbery, assault with a deadly weapon, and possession of firearms. He was seen by three witnesses to produce a shotgun and find a group of men in the passenger saloon of the pleasure boat Golden Salamander. Killing William James Dundas. You're going to be charged with his murder. You want to read this? Go stick your red up your... Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Is that what they teach in prison, huh? Language like that? You. Out. Sorry, sir. I can't... Get out! trying to rub out Jack. Quote, stay put, it's Jack we're after. Unquote. Now what I want to know from you, Eddie, you ain't gonna put any heat on your case. I just got one question. What's that? Who's Morocco Jack? William John, alias Morocco Jack. It is stretch of La Saint Prison, Marseille. They also did a few years here at Lyons Penitentiary. Lyon. Lyon. Lyon, Marseille. Sure is different over here. La Saint is a serious jail. Yeah, he did an eight out of ten year stretch there. Seems that Jack was also ex foreign legion and a member of the Spaggiari gang. Wowee. Well, was that heavy? Spaggiari's still around. He hit a bank in Nice a few years back. In through the sewers. Seems Jack was in on that one. That's three quarters ten. And somebody's just tried to hit him. A London mob. What does that spell out to you? It's a compliment. Right, Means don't set up your team here in London. That's all the noise about. Top floor brass. Leaning on Gordon. Well, this has turned out to be a good day after all. Where the hell is Harry? You sounded shaky on the phone. Well, I don't actually enjoy shooting people, you know. And every time a cop steps out, he could end up on the slab. I'm glad it's to Soto, not you. Thank you. How'd your governor take it? You must be flavor. Point of bitter, please. You must be flavor of the month. I don't know. You mean he hasn't put you up for a medal? I don't know. I haven't seen him. You're kidding. Tom, what the hell was all that about? Whisper is the legend of Jack Cade has got about town. The guy's getting some very heavy people around him. Rumor is they'll try a big caper soon for reputation. Have you spoken to him? Sure. Murder Squad released him. I got an exclusive for the late edition. Wow. He wants to see you. Why? Well, you did save his neck. Reckon my cover stands up? Sure, I vouch for you. Sticking your neck out? Not if I get in on it at the outcome. <laughs> Another exclusive. Well, I can't promise that, as you very well know. Well, we'd better find you someplace to stay. 
sort of safe house. Like where? I thought maybe my place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You call that safe? Chief Superintendent, you're running a squad of thugs and machos. We're getting tired excusing you to other unit commanders. Thugs and machos? I nearly got a girl killed today. So did the traffic department. They don't swagger. Here comes another examiner, that bloody yank. Well, what are we doing today, slumming? Bloody hell. Q-E-D. Was it something I said? Nothing more than usual, Dempsey. Where's your partner? What are you asking me for? You send her on an operation, you don't tell me about it? I could have covered her, Debbie Smith. It was an informal meet with an old flame. Harry went along out of interest. An unknown face is collecting himself a few naughty villains together. The ex-boyfriend's a reporter. Why didn't you tell me about it? Nobody expected a bloody gunfight. Nobody. All right. Me. I didn't. Or Harry. Or Harry. Well, then where is she? The murder squad protected her cover, interviewed her and released her. Right now, I don't know. Who's that? Make peace. Where the hell are you? So, so how you been? Oh, I think I'm coming down with flu. Uh, better not kiss me, then. Seems to give the soto more than a cold. De Soto was going to shoot Cade. Yeah, I know. He had a gun pointed at Cade's head. I look like an acquiry board or something. So what's the game plan? Had a little chat with uh, one of the hit squad boys, name of Haig. Haig? He's mined up with Charlie Peterson. Yeah. He won't say a word. Well, I dissuaded him to. Seems his boss wants Morocco Jack neutralized, and so do we. So I explained that we have something in common. Sometimes you're quite right. That a compliment? Not yet. Well, it looks like Morocco Jack is trying to muscle into this London crime scene. Yep. I heard the same. What I need to find is a way into the inside track. He needs a wheelman. How do you know? I overheard him before the crews got noisy. A wheelman, eh? Get Interpol to put out a warning on an American driver. Link it to a drug thing. An American driver? That'll be you. Word will get around. You know, sometimes you seem quite bright. Is that a compliment? Not yet. Mrs. Jolly had it the other day. Our new style. Sort of mix between Boy George and Tatum O'Neill. Did she suit it, I hear you ask? Well, to be honest, about as much as she suited the Princess Di she had last time. <laughs> <laughs> Poor <laughs> love. She'd know better at 55. Oh. This is Kate. I'm Ellen Kate. Hi. Uh, I'm looking for Mr. Kate. Who wants him? Debbie Smith. Just a moment, love. From yesterday. Mm-hmm. He says you were very quick with that shooter. Yeah, well, it went off accidentally. I was telling the police. Well, you certainly saved his bacon. He's at the gym. I need a car with a lot of zips. Something you don't mind getting a couple of dings in. Well, what's a ding? I know where you. A ding? A ding's a dent. I'm Lieutenant Dempsey. I'm seconded from New York. Yeah, well, what is your authority for vehicle allocation? SI-10. 
Even SI-10 needs a chit, Lieutenant. It must be the same in New York. Look, uh, Chief Superintendent Spike will so sanction it. What do you got? Well, what's it for? Surveillance, robbery, ambush, protection? Or taking some chick from the typing pool down to Brighton? <laughs> How about that one? It's impounded by the drug squad. Owners on remand for two kinds of smack. I'll take it. Sir, this is not a Danny. Not a what? Danny. Nondescript police vehicle. It's not a police vehicle at all. Terrific. Then I won't need a chit, will I? Now, only try the sea and arguing contest if you know it's going to work, OK? Give it a spin. Well, if it isn't our scribbler in shining armor. Didn't see you doing that yesterday. A 4-4 Magnum beats any judo I know. Where's Jack? Through there. Now, what we need is a driver with finesse, huh? Not someone like that bloke who found himself stuck in the revolving bleeding door of Claridge's. It's that doll from the boat, Jack. Miss Debbie Smith, come on in. Morning, Mr. Cade. Tom Clyde speak to you. You don't need anyone to speak for you, darling. You saved my life. Well, the gun just went off. Lucky shot. Tell you what. Why don't we all go down to the Angel? For food. Jack, there is a contract out on you. So what? When I hear Debbie Smith's with me, they won't come near me. And he get your gun. Me. Hey. Come over here, Chief Superintendent. What do you see? A city teeming with villains, son. One of them's a car thief. I'm not quite with you. One of them has stolen a car. <laughs> More than one, I'm sure. With reference to a specific car. Had your car stolen, sir? Red Camaro, property of one Luigi Ferraro. He's a villain. Smack dealer. The drug squad took his motor apart and rebuilt it. Like in the French Connection. Do you visit the cinema, sir? Your Lieutenant Dempsey drove off in it. Oh. I've discussed it with the Deputy Commissioner. And we feel vis-a-vis -vis yesterday's discussion. I'm not parting with Dempsey. We feel that this affords you an ideal opportunity of rousting our American cuckoo out and returning him whence he came. He's a damned good detective. So are you. So was I before I got command of this desk. Spikings, SI-10 has made a few enemies. With respect, sir, doesn't every new department? That's worth its salt. Your squad rides roughshod over police procedures and conventions established in the Met over 50 years. Maybe they need changing. Dempsey's name keeps coming up in complaints. Dempsey and DS Makepeace. Well, I can't just cut them off like wolves from the sledge. Horses. It's the wolves who do the chasing. If SI-10 is to go down, we all go down together. Okay, you've got to come clean. What do you mean? How did you get so tasty? Tasty? Handy. Able to look after yourself. Don't like to talk about it. Force yourself. The lads are getting jumpy. They think you might be the first. Ever heard of Rio? 
Rio de Janeiro. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. When I was 16, I was at a really posh school. Convent. I could tell. That's why I said you wasn't a fuss. I ran off with a sailor. You're kidding. To Rio. Got pregnant. He moved on. So I got a job in a cafe by the harbour. I'm sure you know the kind of scene. Plus, you learn to look after yourself. Got saved from my life of sin by one... Wait for it. Marco O'Hara. A gun runner. He taught me the trade. By the time I was 20, I could shoot the cojones off a fly at 30 yards. You can't be a cop. Why? Because even a rookie wouldn't come up with a lie that dreadful. <laughs> Looks clean to me. Morocco Jack's planning to make a name for himself. He won't tell me how. Natch. But he still needs a wheel man. Well, the call's into Interpol. Spread the tale of an American driver in London. Very able, very fast, big coke gang. For the cops to push the word to their informers. Well, time is pressing, Lieutenant. Say Jack finds someone else. Yeah, I better give him some inspiration fast. What do you mean? Something subtle, but attention grabbing. Subtle? You know me. <laughs> It's the Dorchester Arcade, Mayfair. Right. There are two jewellers. Here and here. Each carrying displays of rocks worth 700 grand. You've had them valued, I suppose. I have, Mickey, yes. How are we going to hit them both and stand a chance of clearing out? What we need, my son, as I have been saying, ad, bleed, nauseam is a decent wheelman, more than a getaway driver, an artist.
cocaine. Dempsey is shaking Luigi Ferraro's snowdrops out of the motor. Good luck. Do the car crews know that our man is to get away? No, we want it to look kosher, Guff. Well, let's hope they don't foul it up. Dempsey's basically a hood. You'll get clear. Red T-shirt. Possibly in possession of drugs. Subject may be armed. Approach with caution. Sorry, officer. That's entrapment. I keep telling you, John, we're not cops. We're planning a black. A blagging? A heist. So what are you telling me for, huh? Whisper is, there's a Yank driver in town. A wheelman. Big Coke syndicate. You were driving Ferraro's car. The great snowman. Ferraro's in a slammer. Who exactly are you? Who are you? I'm Morocco Jack. Whisper is, your team ain't needed London town. <laughs> Whisper is, all you guys are headed for the obit page. I'd have been better off with the law. The man asked your name. Riley. Mason. Serafimo. Schultz. Weston, Greg, Garcia, O'Hara, Cassidy, Miller. First name, Tom, Vince, Dwayne. Take your pick. It's good. It's an honest answer. Two jewelers in an enclosed arcade. We've got two minutes, 40 seconds to do the lot. What part of town? In the center. I need third. 10%. You're kidding. We never kid about business. The name's Danny. Not content with stealing a vehicle in our care, he proceeds to wreck it, endangering the lives of six police officers and umpteen members of the public. With respect, sir, he was operating under my instructions. To turn South London into a demolition derby? All the drivers involved had been briefed, sir. On whose authority, Chief Superintendent? On whose authority precisely? Mine, sir. You see... You see, that's exactly the kind of complaint being levelled against you. And what have you to show for it? Two officers have infiltrated a new London team which is planning a spectacular heist in order to make their mark. And that's it? Plus, sir, because of Lieutenant Dempsey, the drug squad recovered four k's of cocaine which they've previously been unable to find. The street value of which Thank is... you, Spikings. 
afraid you'll need more than that to keep your squad's head off the chopping block. That's the first one. Me and Prez do that one. Loud exterior alarm. Two male assistants, late twenties. Fit. We go in with the Uzis. Where's the second one? Far end, Howard Isaacs. 800 grand's worth looking out at you. That's 12 mil armor plate. And the door's kept locked. That's where you come in. You put the car through the window. Mickey does the snatch. Okay. What do you think? You're the driver. Right? Excuse me a second. Ah. Uh, would you hold on to that, please? Right against that pillar. Great. It's about a foot either side for a Jaguar XA6. So? Tight. Tear gas. I can't drive when I'm crying. Ellen, you know Mickey? And this handsome Yank here, he's Danny, or Tom, or Ed. Take your pick, isn't that right, my friend? Pleased to meet you. Hi, right, Danny. And this is Miss Debbie Smith. Danny Salaputro. She saved our life the other day. Saved your life, Jack. Lucky shot. Hey, me, Bob. Hey, Mick. Hi. Are you American? That's right. New York. You know what they say, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Hey, you two look as if you've known each other forever. It's love at first sight. Don't you remember, Jack? Nah, lust at first sight, I'd say. You want to watch this bloke, Debbie. He's a mean driver. We all know what that means. No, Mickey, what does it mean? Well, you know, the uh, bloke treats his women the way he treats his cars. Is that right, Mr. Salaputro? Salaputro. I don't think so. I never had a car gives me a better tune than certain women I know. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, qu'est-ce qu'on va manger? Oh, du boudin noir, caporal, suivi par le coco vin. Oui, ah, c'est bien, merci, merci, merci. How do you feel about coco vin? <laughs> you told them. <laughs> Yeah. Give me a piece. Give me a piece, man. Get stuff. Oh, do it, do Jeez, it. Jeez, Morocco, I don't know this bloke. What's up? Maybe nothing. service. How's your wife? The, yeah, so sure, right. I'll use your phone. Yes, Debbie. Debbie. Sure. What's in there? 
Jesus. You were great last night. In the bistro. Strange. I didn't even feel scared. Well, you know how it is. Sometimes you just sail right through and... Sometimes. The boys are back in the gym. I'm gonna do the job today. You said Friday. Need the bread. If those three gangs want a war, I gotta buy fighters. Jack, why don't you take Alan back to France and open up a restaurant or something? Debbie, I'm not in the catering business. I'm a gangster. Are you sure? Women. Take the lady anywhere she wants to go. Thanks, cop. Where to, Mason? I had a horrible feeling we were going to get a real taxi. What's the score? They're going to hit the Dorchester Arcade at four o'clock today. Dempsey wants to meet in 50 minutes. Was that your lot in the shooting last night? What do you think? We've got a complaint. Only one? Right, we hit the arcade as planned. Danny, here's going to heist a car. Do you want any help, Danny? Nope. Better work alone. I've cashed our weapons at a barge at Jackson's Wharf. There's also a garage there. Hmm? No sweat. Let's go get a car. We rendezvous at Jackson's Wharf in uh, Danny. Hour and a half, two hours. Somebody ought to go with this guy. That's OK, Chris. I'm a very good judge of men. Danny's OK. Don't say I didn't warn you. So this man, Cade, is going to drive his Jaguar motor car through the Dorchester Arcade Mayfair, hit two jewellers' shops, then barge his way through London traffic in his reinforced car with two million pounds worth of stolen gems. Yeah, that's about it in a nutshell. It would be the crime of the year. Crime of the month, sir. It's a very naughty city. Oh, this is excellent. Excellent. The man crazy. A lot of people could get killed. No, no, no. We'll take over the whole precinct, stake it out. Armed officers in all the shops, block off the arcade with trucks, and we use fire hoses to quiet the opposition. No, no. That would damage the shops. Tear gas. Yes. Tear gas. Are you OK, sir? Sergeant Makepeace, I can't begin to tell you what something like this means. Thank God. There is a God after all. What a coup. Chief. This guy came. Marco Jack. He's a pussycat. Yeah, he was with some tough guys in French prison, but uh, he's out of his league, you know? What are you suggesting, Lieutenant? Well, what Dempsey is suggesting, sir, is that we hit them at this Jackson's Wharf place. Because with arms and equipped for robbery, we can do them for conspiracy. Yeah, I was right. I mean, why a big public shootout? Because, boys, somebody on the top floor is trying to close us down. And we need something like this to put us back on the map. We need? All right, I need. And I need loyalty. Does anyone believe that stuff? Yo! I need a car! Take your pick! Take my pick. I'll steal one.
Oh, Mickey, this is a work of art. Beautiful job. Now we just got to paint it down, blend it in, you know? We're in good time. We've got four hours. All right, Mick. We got ourselves a tank. Yeah, a fast one. Terrific weapon, that, Jack. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, Danny boy, we're almost there. Morocco. Don't get adventurous. You. In or out? I got 10% riding on this. Sorry, Jack. Hey, Jack. Let's walk. Bunch of creeps. Like the man said, Morocco. There ain't no room for you in the smoke. We thought, after all that time in the desert, you would appreciate the water. <laughs> yeah, by uh, 307, you'll be bubbling. That's precise. You know, I've seen this once. It was in a movie. Tide came in, his old crabs came in, ate the guy's feet. Oi. Give my cut to Alan. Where have you been, sucker? really necessary? Insurance, pal. When we hit that arcade, you'll do your bit. Yeah, rather than face a ten stretch. It's early. What do you want me to do, find a car park? Timetable's changed. We're going early. I've got 40 officers in five vans a couple of blocks from here. We'll have three in here. Roger. Two at each end with shotguns. Okay. I want five in each of the target shots with pistols and one shotgun per team. Well, we'll certainly be ready for them. Now, when the Jaguar enters the arcade, we let them hit the first shot and then block both entrances with container trucks. Good word. Oh, bloody hell. Really? Step on the bank. Go! That's Debbie! Cops, you bastards! Drive! Drive!
Snake face! You got it! Thanks. Jack, turn this way. I'll try and keep you for you. Hey, my two friends. I knew you'd turn out right. Not exactly. Too straight to be villains. So are you, Jack. Well, Morocco Jack. You're for a lagging sunshine. What's a lagging? What is a lagging? It means a long stretch. Don't worry, I know a good lawyer. You're a smash-up, Debbie. It's Harry, actually. Yeah? Well, good luck to the two of you. Hey, Debbie Smith. Yes, Danny Sapalutro. Sal Laputro. I'm wet and I'm cold. You look it. I could do with a bit of warming. Mm-hmm. I bet you could. If you still got that apartment, we could finish what we started. We didn't start anything, remember? Didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> 